Good morning guys, did you enjoy the end slate on yesterday's video? You're like, who needs Photoshop when you just do everything on lined paper? You know, I'm kind of old fashioned that way. I'd rather draw it out and spend time on Photoshop doing it. <laughs> Hi Nemo, what's up buddy? So we're going to start on our way to Subway and we forgot my resume because I'm going to go uh, apply to become a sandwich artist because it's the only thing in town really. This is what I'm down here to get. Is it tacky handing in a resume and getting subs at the same time? I don't know. People, we have serious business to attend to, but first, let's turn on the lights. Awesome. Okay. I don't know how many of you who watch are a fan of the hit television show How I Met Your Mother by a show of hands. You are? Alright. Good news for you if you haven't heard this yet. There's going to be a spin-off. I guess it's not really a spin-off. Really, is it? It's a, it's a show called How I Met Your Dad. Not How I Met Your Father. How I Met Your Dad. Which is weird. And it is a entirely new show with none of the characters, so it's not... Ted's wife's story of how he met, she met Ted. But completely new characters. How I Met Your Dad. And I think it's going to be good. Same concept of How I Met Your Mother. How I Met Your Dad. New characters. But it's from the same people who made How I Met Your Mother. Producers, writers, creators. I think it's going to be good, to be honest with you. We just had Subway. Obviously, because we went there. I just need to say that so I can put a sub count. Somewhere. <laughs> I'm sure Anyways, I have to go beat the stupid cave before they leak four, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. So I'm just sitting here watching like my old vlogs from like 200 days ago. And I think I had more confidence vlogging in front of people back then. Like, I vlogged all the way to the bank and back. Oh my. One thing I learned from doing these, I'm not as brave as I thought I was. I'm more shy than I thought I was. Logging in, Brig Brother really brought that up for me. That's what I've learned from this so far. And I'm going to try to do better. These old videos are like reminding me how happy I was when I first did this. Like, oh, I'm just going to be so excited to vlog everything. And then now I'm just like, oh, I don't want to go pull my camera out in public. I'll try. That was deep. Oh my. Sorry. Let's do something silly now to lighten up that, uh, the mood. Uh, I had a really weird dream last night. Okay, so I had a dream that I had to have a heart operation, which is something I'm not a stranger to. I've had them before, but it's like the second one I've had this year. The first one my mom did, and she like took up my heart and my lungs and just replaced everything. It was bizarre. And this one, I had to like go order parts at like Walmart. I got the auto desk and just be like, "Yo, I need a valve replaced." And then they just gave it to me, and I had to bring it to the hospital. And like, I'd be opened up not the easy way, which is through the vein of my groin. We'll get into that maybe some other time. And they just opened me up, put the valve in, right? Stitch me up, but it was like weird. I had like, a, like thread coming out of my nipple down to the scar right there. That was a weird shot, you know. And on the other side, too, it was really weird. And I don't know why I had that, but that was my dream. And in my dream, I was still in high school and like I joined a drama club and just had threads coming from my nipples to my stomach because I had heart surgery. Yeah, really weird dream. Uh, don't watch Doctor Who before bed. Made it to the League Far! What, what is this place? Okay, I don't know what's going on anymore. Where are the people to fight? This game's so different. So fun. It was a great montage. And thank you for, like, for using my song. You did not write that song. I think I did. No, I'm pretty sure you didn't. It was my band. Let's beat it. I'm gonna see the episode. No, I don't think you did. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what was your reaction to seeing the, you know, sort of all, the, all the stuff that he had gone through up to that point? Um, it, yeah, it was, it was, it was horrible. I'm sure it was horrible to burn with it. It's a lovely town. It has a movie theater. Yeah. 
you know. Not enough plays there anymore, but yeah, yeah. you get movies like you get like Madagascar. <laughs> I beat it. I beat it. Look at effing credits all rolling down screen. Cause I beat it. I wanna say I beat it in one try, but I didn't. The water gym took a couple tries, the dragon gym. I gave up just because I thought the first one was a grass type. It was water type, so I got my butt whooped from it. So let's restart that one. And I did the champion in one try, so and then I had to bite fight the AZ Jesus guy and killed him in one try. So credits. I beat it. Finally. Now just to complete my Pokedex. This is Why? And you're hilarious. Why am I hilarious? Because I beat the game? Yeah, you're like, Do you know the last time I beat a Pokemon game, I think it might have been gold. <laughs> oh my god, you so long ago. I'm not putting any NHL stickers on it. Why? Because I'm definitely not putting McDonald's one either. So we're just going to have a plain black Zamboni. No. Yeah. Oh, put white stripes on it. Yeah, white stripes. McDonald's has Mick uh, Zamboni. Zamboni. Mick Zamboni is also a choice. And of course we need one. Because how Canadian is it? Very Canadian. Very Canadian. Very Canadian. We've had three different kinds of $5 bills since I was born. That's cool. Okay, so this was the text to get to. Uh, Baker and Faker. Hello. At the Home Depot parking lot. Don't feel like going in because I'm trying to catch this. Effing thing, yeah, show me you two when I want to show the other guy, that guy. And uh, I've been through like five of my Pokemon. This is my last one, me too. Just got him. And uh, nothing, wanna, he doesn't want to stay on the ball. Look at his health already. Does not want to stay on the Pokeball. I've thrown so many at him, and it's the most frustrating thing in the game. So, let's see if this works. Get it caught on film. But it's probably not going to be, and I'm probably going to get mad. Ah! That's the most frustrating thing! And now uh, Mewtwo's going to die, right? Yep. Yeah. And then we just turn it off, because that was my last Pokemon. So yeah, that's frustrating as balls. Now my light's flashing red, so it's better off and work before this dies. What's probably going to end up happening is I'm going to catch this thing, and then my battery will die. Like, just get in the ball, it'll show me like the Pokedex stuff about it, and then it'll die. I swear to you. I could use my last ball, but I already used it on me too. <gasps> oh my god! I did it! I got it! It was about time. I'm so glad I got that I came. Anyways, I used my last ball on me too. This is the second time I've caught me too. I've caught him in uh, Fire Red before. And in my first Pokemon game ever yellow, I did not know what the Master Ball was and wasted it on, I believe, a Goldeen. Because I'm like, hey, a Goldeen, I want one of those. I saw it on the show, so I threw a Pokeball on it. And uh, it just, it was a waste of a Pokeball, a Master Ball. But did you guys ever waste your Master Ball on something because you didn't know what it is on your first Pokemon game? Or is it just me? Is Pi just me? Ty Kitchen. Ooh, a dollar. Why are these two different looking? Oh, it's a points thing. This is a hundred. Solved it. Yo, what? Apple butter. You get Diana and my mom gets Maggie's. I don't know what Maggie's is, but it's like this. Maggie's is Diana's sister who didn't do as successful in the sauce making business. Burn. Holy jeez, that's a bunch of different kinds of cake. Are you filming? Yeah. Okay. I got something stuck in the bag. That's a giant bag of cash. Lift it. Go ahead and lift it. Lift it, lift it, lift it, lift it. Yeah, I can lift that. Even though they're both the same age. Santa! Oh, he's hula hooping. Oh, oh, was just hula hooping the whole book. Oh, now he's twerking? I don't know. The Rob Burgundy book. Good night, guys.
Oh, 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 oh,